What we have seen over the last several years is a continuation of the trend towards more and more data intensity in procurement, uh, more and more need to master analytic skills to be able to execute on the requirements of the job, and really a reliance on good analytics to be able to innovate, to come up with new approaches, to engage suppliers, to engage partners within your organization, to engage stakeholders, to really mobilize for change. Why clients should really think about advancements in this area and working with us in particular is because we have invested very deeply over a decade or a longer in understanding these trends, the evolution of these trends, and how best to apply analytics to get that next level of performance improvement. We, of course, with a procurement mindset, tend to have a lot of opportunities to have immediate impact. So we have um, lots of analytics-focused initiatives that are very event-minded. How can we extract value from something that hasn't necessarily been addressed before? How can we harvest some opportunity that is latent in the organization or in a supply relationship? So that's very event and focused. It's a one-off. But a lot of the uh, challenge for our many of our advanced clients is how to sustain those gains. How can you build upon them? How can you make sure that you deliver on those and then continue to move forward? And so one of the big challenges for the analytics team and for PAS in general has been how can you transfer the capability and the know-how to the client so they can continue to improve upon the initiative result that you might have helped them achieve. So a lot of the work of late has been focused on not just delivering and executing on a project, but at the same time ta transferring skills and cross-training our client colleagues so that they can continue to capitalize on some of those gains and to try to drive towards further improvement.